silent tears when he saw brave men fall. Wayne and John Ford taught us how to live, taught us how to grow up and become adults, you know. And to say it in the politically incorrect way, they taught us how to be men. They taught us what was expected. They, you know, that, that you had, to, that physical courage was important. Moral courage was even more important. Yeah, I, I think honor and loyalty is, loyalty is important. Honor, yeah, honor is important. <laughs> the problem is teaching us how to be men. The issue for me is that what is a man? I mean, I remember, um showing Wayne films to American students in the early 1970s. And their sense of Wayne was so hostile, they literally could not see the film. They wouldn't sit still for it. And if you tried to explain what it was, they wouldn't wait to hear. They couldn't tolerate the notion that there might be a little bit more to Wayne than their circumscribed vision of him. Wayne's politics now threatened to overshadow a lifetime's worth of work. But the Duke never lost his sense of humor, so he climbed into a borrowed army vehicle and faced the enemy on their own ground. He went to Harvard. He, he was invited back to, to the Hasty Pudding Club. They were going to do a roast on him. It was during the Vietnam era, and they were very left-wing, very anti-Vietnam War. We at the Harvard Lampoon are not trying to make enemies. We merely hope to hurt people's feelings. Has President Nixon ever sent you any suggestions for your movies? <laughs> no, they've all been successful so far. That I uh, accepted this invitation over a wonderful invitation to be at a Jane Fonda rally. He said, oh, boys, I don't know if I made the right choice going back to the school. I don't know what they're going to do to me. I said, they're going to love you. Are you crazy? He said, I don't know what they're going to say. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I said, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. 